Hello everyone, I am Bindu. In this video, I will share my IELTS experience. Uh, I have recently given my IELTS academic test. It was a computer based test and uh, I got my speaking uh, slot on the same day itself after my LRW exam. I had my test in the morning slot itself that is from uh, 9 am to 12 pm. So I reached the center by 8 o'clock and uh, they will allow you inside from 8.15 onwards and then um, they will not allow after uh, 8.45. Uh, after that, I went inside the IDP center and uh, after checking my details, they gave me a ID card sort of thing with a key to the locker where uh, we can uh, we can uh, keep our uh, belongings there and uh, after that, uh, they'll click a picture of us uh, which will be printed on our IELTS test report and then uh, they we were sent to a waiting hall and uh, they gave uh, some instructions regarding the test and then uh, uh, they took us to the uh, actual test room. The listening part was easy when compared to other uh, reading and writing uh, parts but uh, somehow I missed one question uh, in the part one itself uh, so I was a bit worried and uh, I tried hard not to ruin other parts as well but um, uh, part 2 and part 3 were a bit tricky for me and uh, part 4 was completely fine because uh, we need to answer it uh, only in one word so it was uh, nice and uh, I practiced a lot from uh, Cambridge books and also from this website uh, called as IELTSOnlineTests.com uh, and uh, we can get the uh, listening tests of uh, Cambridge books by just typing uh, uh, listening test 1 or 2 or 3 Cambridge book the number of the book uh, on the on YouTube and um, before that uh, we need to uh, go through the videos of uh, IELTS list and uh, fast track IELTS to get to know the type of uh, listening questions and also some of the tricks uh, uh, related uh, to those questions uh, after that uh, just practice a lot of questions so that uh, you'll get used to that you uh, uh, used to get that questions and uh, you can perform better in your uh, actual test uh, the reading part was okay for me. I was able to manage my time to complete them in uh, one hour. I strictly restricted myself to complete each passage in 20 minutes so that uh, I get enough time for all of the questions. Uh, so I completed all of them on time. Obviously true false not doing questions were a bit tricky questions and uh, I got them in uh, two passages so it was a bit difficult for me. And uh, I also got uh, maths the heading questions and uh, some of the paragraph com completion questions. Overall the reading section was okay and uh, time management is important uh, here. Uh, so first uh, in order to start the mock test before that uh, you just uh, know all the type of questions uh, by watching the videos from IELTS Liz or uh, either IELTS Liz or Fast Track IELTS or IELTS Advantage YouTube channels and then uh, write as many mock tests as possible so that uh, you get used to that uh, time limit and uh, you can complete them in time. Uh, now coming to the writing part, uh, uh, it went well for me. Uh, coming to the task one, I got a line graph uh, with uh, which was about the population of a country uh, over the years of uh, three different uh, age group people. So we need to uh, illustrate them by uh, using the graph. So coming to the structure of uh, task 1 essay, uh, task 1 report, uh, uh, we need to write uh, four paragraphs. First paragraph is the introduction paragraph. Uh, first thing is just uh, paraphrase the question statement. And uh, the second paragraph is the overview. Mention all the crucial points of the graph and uh, start this paragraph with the keyword overview so that uh, uh, you can uh, mention the important points of the graph uh, in that paragraph and also don't include any accurate values uh, of the graph. Uh, you can add them in your uh, body paragraphs. Then after overview, uh, you need to write two body paragraphs explaining uh, each of them in detail and uh, there is no conclusion for uh, task win uh, essays because uh, we have already written the overview and uh, conclusion part is uh, not required. And uh, you need to ensure that uh, you write a minimum of 150 words in task 1 essay and uh, you will be shown the word count below your task and uh, you can uh, write accordingly. Coming to the task 2 essay, there are several types of uh, questions like uh, opinion based questions, advantages, disadvantages and uh, discussion essays and so on. Uh, for these, just check the videos of uh, E2IELTS uh, YouTube channel and also IELTS uh, Advantage YouTube channel. Those are very helpful and uh, the structure of uh, each essay is different for each type of question. 
so just uh, check this uh, website and uh, you'll get an idea of uh, each type of question but uh, the basic structure is introduction body paragraph 1 body paragraph 2 and the conclusion so i got the question uh, i got uh, a question as celebrities uh, like celebrities uh, privacy is important that kind of question i'll uh, put it in the uh, put it here uh, i didn't remember it properly so in order to generate the ideas for the topic i used uh, pastel technique so every topic uh, falls under any of these uh, category so have at least uh, two to three ideas using this and uh, you'll be good to go to uh, draft an essay from that and uh, i also uh, read some of the sample uh, answers for the topics and uh, i referred the ielts advantage uh, website i'll uh, put the uh, uh, link in the description of this video just check it out so coming to my speaking test i had my speaking test on the same day itself after my lrw test so i was told to wait in a waiting room after my test and uh, uh, they called us based on our uh, time slot uh, so i was bit tensed on that day and uh, they called me and i went inside she was a lady uh, she wished me and uh, she directly started the recording and then um, started asking me questions for the part one she asked me several questions uh, like uh, about my house where i lived and uh, regarding my school days and also she asked me about my uh, favorite teacher in my uh, childhood and so on i answered them well and i was pretty much confident in this part so now coming to the part 2 uh, my cue card was uh, describe a book that uh, you have read multiple times so uh, i made up a question uh, i made up a story in that one minute uh, time they gave uh, so i started talking i didn't uh, speak for uh, completely 2 minutes uh, as my pace was too fast i ran out of words and uh, i abruptly ended uh, and then after that she told me to speak uh, for some more time but uh, i was tensed at that time and um, i couldn't speak after that uh, she moved to the part 3 uh, she asked me several questions uh, related to importance of uh, book reading literature and also uh, and all that stuff uh, likewise she asked me a couple of questions uh, on that and uh, i i answered them pretty well Uh, after the test uh, i was only worried about part 2 because uh, i stopped in between and uh, i got stuck in between just uh, don't be tensed uh, as we have uh, four categories for marking for speaking like uh, we have uh, fluency coherence cohesive grammar vocabulary we have several uh, things that uh, we will be marked on so uh, even if we don't do well in any of them uh, it's totally fine Uh, like i lost in fluency because uh, i stopped in between and couldn't speak for uh, complete 2 minutes at stretch and uh, i think i performed well uh, uh, in the rest of them and uh, i i took uh, several mock tests with my uh, friends and family uh, it is very important for us because uh, that will uh, boost your confidence in your speaking and uh, uh, that will improve your uh, speaking skills so uh, coming to my result uh, i got uh, my result after 4 uh, days of my uh, actual test so i got uh, 7.5 and overall 7 uh, in uh, reading 7 in writing 7.5 in uh, listening and 7.5 in speaking so i guess uh, it worked well uh, just uh, i want to wish you wish everyone all the best for your uh, test if you if you have your exam nearby just be confident and stay calm you will definitely do well all the best